No, it can't be! It looks like the RTX 40 series might actually be coming out sooner than we thought. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Recoverit. Recoverit is a data loss recovery and prevention tool that could save you a lot of money and time if you find yourself accidentally deleting files or trying to repair destroyed ones. We all know how important data is these days, so ensuring you keep it safe and having ways to recover it is an absolute must. And with a 4.5 out of 5 star rating on Trustpilot, as well as a 4.6 out of 5 stars as rated by users, Recoverit is a great and reliable way to do so. Not only that, but Recoverit supports over 2,000 plus storage devices and 1,000 plus file types, so no matter what you're doing, you can rest assured Recoverit has your back. So if you're interested in keeping your data safe and you want to support the channel, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. Some new rumors have just popped up that are suggesting that, well, the RTX 40 series and specifically the 4090 likely is going to be releasing very, very soon. And guys, I mean like very soon, like right around the corner, way sooner than we were expecting. And honestly, at first, guys, I was thinking this makes no sense, but actually I looked into it a little bit further and well, it could definitely be true depending on what happens. So let's go ahead and not waste any more time. Let's take a look at what Cop87 Kimi had to say because yes, once again, we have another leak from him and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So according to Cop87 Kimi, he had this to say over on Twitter in regards to the RTX 4090. Okay, let's do a summary. RTX 4090, 8102-300, 16,128 FP32, 21 gigabits per second, 24G, GDDR6, X, 450 watt and around two times the performance of an RTX 3090. Then he says, I'm disappointed with RDNA 3, that's all. Now before we go into his next tweet where he does actually go over the actual release date for RTX 40, which again is coming out much sooner than we originally thought, there's two things I want to talk about real quick here. First of all, Cop87 Kimi has gotten a ton of stuff right about NVIDIA in the past and he definitely has some sort of inside source that knows a lot of information. So when you see him talking about stuff over on Twitter, honestly, at least personally, I do take it very seriously. And second of all, all the things he just talked about with the specs of the RTX 4090 I want to go into real quick here because actually it turns out they were very very close to what I was suggesting the RTX 4090 was going to look like. In fact if we take a look at the chart that I put out just the other day and I have been talking about for some time I said that the RTX 4090 of course was going to be an 81 or 2 die with 132 SMs for a total of 16,896 shaders so it looks like I was off by just 6 SMs if Cop87 Kimi does turn out to be correct because he's suggesting it's going to be 126 SMs for a total of 16,128 so it looks like, yes, I was very, very close when it comes to the SMs and CUDA core count. Uh, but if we take a look at the memory here, I originally said it was going to be 21 gigabits per second and 24 gigabytes of it. GDDR6X on a 384-bit bus. It looks like he's saying the exact same thing here. Uh, however, I did say it's going to be around 85% faster than the RTX 3090. He's saying around 100% faster. Honestly, I think we're just going to have to wait and see there, but I just simply cannot commit at this point in time to 100% faster on the RTX 4090. Now, will the 4090 Ti be 100% faster? Honestly, Honestly, I do think that is very, very likely that it will, or possibly even faster than that. But as of right now, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with 85% faster. And the only other thing I got wrong with the RTX 4090 is that I said it was going to be around 500 watts. It looks like he's saying 450 watts. And honestly, that does make a little bit more sense now that I think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and say 450 watts is probably more likely. And I'm also going to bump down the RTX 4080 Ti to 400 watts, although that thing could end up being 450 watts still. Only time will tell. But in any case, with all those specs out of the way, it is looking like the RTX 49 is going to be a very powerful card and possibly a little less power hungry than I was originally thinking, which is definitely good. But now we have to go ahead and talk about the release date because yes, guys, it's getting really exciting. It looks like these things are going to be right around the corner because according to Comp87 Kimi, here's what he had to say about the release date. Now, this originally spawned from a videocards.com tweet where they said, ah, yes, by the way, when you said Q3 early, you meant early Q3 or as early as Q3. And he responded by saying mid July. Now, again, this is in regards to the RTX 40 series release release date and as he did originally make a tweet saying uh, basically early Q3 they would be coming out and honestly at first like many of you guys are probably thinking right now I was thinking to myself that is way too early there's no way they're going to be bringing out these cards as early as August or even July that just seems absolutely ridiculous and I have been saying probably expect them to be announced sometime around September now when he does say July by the way I think he's talking about an announcement not necessarily availability availability is probably going to be at least one month after the actual announcement but either way July is absolutely insane that is just a couple of months away at this point, guys, and that's going to be absolutely crazy if within a couple of months now, we're going to be seeing an actual announcement of the RTX 40 series. Definitely very, very exciting, but is it actually going to happen? And again, originally I was skeptical, but I started to look into it, and honestly, guys, I do think that this could potentially be the case. Now, the reason why I say that is because, well, first of all, NVIDIA is definitely going to want to beat AMD to the punch when it comes to bringing out their graphics cards, because if AMD does end up having an absolute monster with the 7950 XT, NVIDIA needs to come out first to ensure 
that they get all those original sales right away. So that's definitely going to be the first reason as to why I believe NVIDIA would be releasing these things so early. Now, the second reason I think has to do with the crypto mining collapse, and it looks like a bunch of RTX 30 series cards are going to be hitting the market uh, probably pretty soon here. I, I do believe, at least personally, that a lot of cryptocurrency miners are going to start to sell as it does continue to decline in profits, although that could end up being not the case. We'll just have to wait and see there. But I think NVIDIA is very, very worried that that could be the case, and they're going to go ahead and try and distract all the gamers with new shiny graphics cards that are way, way faster so that you're not going to want to buy an RTX 30 series any longer. But the final reason as to why I believe NVIDIA is actually going to be releasing these things so early and why this all lines up and makes sense is that, well, I actually went ahead and looked up, you know, what is going on in July. And I started racking my brain and thinking, is there something going on in July that I don't know about that would actually make it all make sense? And as it turns out, yes, there is something going on in July, and that's GTC. And in fact, for the first time in a long time, it's going to be apparently an in-person event once again. Now, I got this information from the website VentureBeat, and here's what they had to say about it. Quote, we're excited to bring Transform 2022 back in person July 19th and virtually July 20th through 28th. So there you have it. It looks like mid-July, just like how Cop 7 Kimi was talking about, there is going to be an event going on GTC 2022, and NVIDIA is always present at these events. So it would honestly all line up and make a ton of sense that NVIDIA would be at GTC 2022, revealing their new graphics cards with availability sometime between a month and a month and a half afterwards, depending on the GPU that they're going to be talking about during that event. So yeah, this is all lining up. It's making a lot of sense. And honestly, guys, I wouldn't be too shocked if in July we do end up seeing the RTX 40 series. So that's actually really, really exciting. It's coming way sooner than we originally thought, though we do have to keep in mind that this is kind of just a rumor. Although Comp 8 7 Kimi does tend to get a lot of stuff right when it comes to NVIDIA, there is a possibility that something could potentially change, or maybe even he's just, you know, theorizing that it is going to happen in July and it could end up actually being pushed back one or two months later. And he's only theorizing it because of GT. This is something we simply don't know at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and say that like there's probably a 50% chance that it could be happening in July, 50% chance that it could be pushed back a month or even two months later, depending on what happens. So there you go. There you have it, guys. It looks like we could be talking about the RTX 40 series being announced just around the corner, and I cannot wait to go ahead and actually live stream this event as well as get my hands on some new graphics cards. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the RTX 40 series is really going to be revealed as early as July, or do you think it'll be pushed back probably? closer to September. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.